I will miss that like a child. <laughs> I will miss that like my firstborn child, bro. Wow. <laughs>
I've never even heard the word sketty before. Bro. That's an adjective. There's a female that said that. A sketty. I would have lost my mind. As the boyfriend or the as mother? As the boyfriend. Oh, facts. Obviously as, as the mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Shut up, you sketty bitch. Where does that vocab come from? Facts. That's built in. Yeah. Wow. That's emotionally charged. That's facts. Damn, man. Facts. I fell over in a restaurant on a first date and took the table with me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's buzz. And took the table oh, with me. Oh, God. That's an ankle roller. Oh, oh that's, that's disgusting. That's, an ankle that's your roller. whole, you're perpendicular with the floor. Because <laughs> it's not like a stumble, but you're, yeah. you're standing upright. You're down, bro. Facts, bro. That's disgusting. Facts, bro. Scratched my ass and smelt it. And she was looking at me the whole damn time. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, okay, hmm. cool. Nah, that's horrible. Hmm. That's horrible. Had my period whilst trying to seduce him in lingerie. <sighs> that's not, that's not ideal. This? Yeah. One would make you scream. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. A crow landed on my head thinking it was a bun nest. <laughs> Cause you attract birds. <laughs> That's all I'm hearing. This is not a one off. A fucking crow. They're massive and they're terrifying. Oh, landed on my head thinking it was a nest. Nah. Your nah. head top <laughs> is butters. <laughs> That's crazy. My car got repossessed whilst we were on the date. <laughs> whilst we were on the date, bro. Oh, just pay them bills, man. Facts. Pay them bills. I don't take her out. One, it's two. I told him I'd swallow his nut, not knowing what it tasted like. I ended up spitting everything back on his stomach. Take, honestly, take the L. In that moment, you yeah. promised me something. <laughs> you promised me something. Take the L. Not knowing what it would taste like. It must have been nasty. Yeah, I didn't know what lobster would taste like. <laughs> I backed it. And threw up. And threw up, obviously. <laughs> but I did that in the privacy of my own, yeah, my own yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you promised me something. <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean it's now on my stomach? Uh, that's crazy. The, yeah, my yeah. own stomach. Yeah, and I've just noticed. So the, the PNC is, yeah. is red alert. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, this is a raw emotion. Yeah, yeah. It's raw and, emotion. And you just told me it's not even, it's like, it's not even palatable. It's not <laughs> my DNA is not even palatable. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You have to look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to look at yourself oh, in the mirror. I have to ask her to leave, man. Obviously, oh. she's probably going to want to leave anyway. Facts. But just please, please, please. We were robbed and I ran away. Okay. That's, um, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing, but also, I don't know what's going to happen. Mm. So run as well. Facts. Because that's dread. Because like, <sighs> I'm thinking now. First date. If, yeah, first date, I'm mm. bopping around. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gas, gas, gas. Mm. A couple of ruffians pull up on us and they say, let me see that kettle. And I, <laughs> let me hold it. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. And I'm thinking, this is bags. Mm. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to risk this. Mm. I look at her, she looks at me, I give her the yeah. the wink, which means dip. In your in and your she, imagination. She, yeah. She's thinking it means He's about to do superhero. Yeah, that's what she thinks. She thinks the way I, I got this, babe. Yeah, I got it. Stay put. Yeah, I got yeah, yeah, I got this. And she's like, wow. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm dating hey, I'm dating him. <laughs> What's he Meanwhile, gonna do? Yeah, you're in the start. I turn. Wow. You're in Frozone stars. Wow. You're gone. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know when the flash in Justice yeah. League? Yeah, yeah. And he runs like that. <laughs> you're gone. Yeah, I'm gone, bro. Yeah. And I turn around and she's still there. Fuck <laughs> sake. Babe, run! Charged. Yeah, yeah. Whole you know when um, <laughs> Boys in the Hood, where Ricky gets shot. Oh, and it drapes in. Yeah, yeah when yeah, he's in yeah, the alley yeah, and he, yeah. Cuba Gooding Jr. turns yeah. around and he's like, Ricky! Yeah, yeah, That'll yeah, be yeah. me to pay. Oh. Ricky! <laughs> run, bro! <laughs> and then she's still there like, wow. And then she, if she's getting mugged, that's the worst bit. Because if I turn around and I see her like fighting for a hand. A handbag! <laughs> what would you do? I'm moving out of London. <laughs> I'm moving to Newcastle or something, bro. Cause that old thing is long. You're on Shade Borough <laughs> before midnight. <laughs> before midnight. Before my Uber arrives. 
I'm on. I'm all over it. Oh God. Jane runs away from this first date <laughs> and allows her date to get <laughs> mugged. Get mugged. <laughs> oh, I'm livid about it. Oh, I'm livid should about it. Should we give a post-match analysis as well to everything? Oh, he winked at me. Yeah, I he thought he had it. this. He thought he had this. this. Before I knew, I turned around and he was gone. He was running. They he... stole my bag. They stole everything. They took my heels and all sorts. Oh, imagine. Bro, the thing is, I would... No one could tell me nothing. Right. I'd be, yeah, I'd, I'd release my own statement straight away. <laughs> from the back of the Uber, bro. Camera my, facing. My own statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my own turn of events, bro. I, I, I gave her the wink and, I, yeah. Yeah. The wink and run. The wink and dip. Yeah. She wasn't paying attention. Oh, you think I need God. a woman in my life that doesn't pay attention? <laughs> spin it. I'll spin the whole story. <laughs> She's susceptible. <laughs> I don't need that kind of heat. Oh, that's jokes. Oh, God. All right, most embarrassing, uh, most embarrassing thing that's happened to you in front of your partner. I choked on an oyster while claiming to be a goat throat. Oh God. <laughs> First of all, don't ever claim to be shit. <laughs> Let me find out. Facts. I'm a, I'm a goat throat. First of all, how do you know? Facts. That's the, that's the first thing I want to know. I got a goat throat. How do you know? She finished off by saying- Oh damn, it's not finished. The server had to save my life. <laughs> the Heimlich. <laughs> that's disgusting. Oh wow, my God. Can you imagine? Cause you know I got that goat throat oh and just- God. And then <laughs> regurg. Yeah. The whole thing regurg. The next man's there, like, ah, ah, ah. No, yeah, that's I'm so dipping. So, and but yes. I'm dipping, bro. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, oh. I'm calling for facts. Facts. Yeah. facts, 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 facts. Play, play with your strengths, man. <laughs> Damn. Me and my partner was at dinner, and this waiter was a guy that ate my pussy to the bone. <laughs> Where's the embarrassment? Where's the embarrassment? She's just having flashbacks. She's having flat. Maybe my assumption is to the bone. To the bone is brazy. <laughs> <laughs> I see. When I read that the first time, I licked my lips. <laughs> the to the bone. Damn! Wow! Wow! Indeed. The only thing I can think of is <clears throat> maybe. Oh no! To be fair, it's a first. <laughs> it's a, To the bone, ain't my pussy to the bone. She bit a lip when yeah, she saw him. Facts. The only thing I can think of is, um, obviously, there they've been in a relationship where they've told each other about each other's past and other partners and blah blah blah. That's the only reason why. It's obviously embarrassing for him. It's not embarrassing for her to an extent. Mm. But yeah, that's the only way I can see that him <laughs> being embarrassed. Ugh, that's infuriating. What would you do if you were on a date? You were on a first date, and there was a thing that you. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. not smothered. even like an ex, like yeah. a girl that I just ran, ran through, and she smothered your pelvis <laughs> with spit. That's, oh, that's the throat she was. God, getting. that's the throat she was. Getting. Oh, but well, you're on a date with a language. <laughs> yeah. You're conflicted, <laughs> and I know homegirl's still keen. Yeah. <laughs> you can Ooh. tell she's your server, my bro. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> she's giving you yeah. extra, extra spring rolls and them thing. Yeah, yeah, innuendos with the spring yeah. as well. Ooh. I would, uh, I wouldn't be able to concentrate. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to go, <laughs> I smothered your pelvis and spit. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> I don't think you're getting it. Damn, bro. Damn. <laughs> uh, I will miss that like a child. <laughs> <laughs> I will miss that on my firstborn child, bro. Wow. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't concentrate <laughs> on his date. Damn. <gasps> In your windows. <laughs> she knows, she knows. Nah, 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 nah. I'm charging this whole day. Oh I god. need that again. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, oh my God. I'm a, uh, bro, <laughs> throat is my weakness as well. <laughs> Over Tom. Throws my weakness. <laughs> I can't have that happen to me. Smothered your phone with spit. Bro, wow. <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh, oh whoa, God. bro. I would need that. I would need that like candy floss. Wow. Oh. My sweet my sweet tooth will be kicking in. 
<gasps> Jesus. Fuck. Thank you for that, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ, thank you for that so much. Wow. All right, I got a few more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <sighs> right, you, I'm gonna oh. just smash through the rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Most impressive thing <laughs> that's happened to you in front of your partner. Got too drunk, fell asleep in the shower, and never turned, and never even turned the water on. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that's funny. I have weak ankles. <laughs> And whilst I was walking, they gave out and I pushed a lady into the street. <laughs> whilst I was walking. Cam, to know you have weak ankles is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Because she's risking yeah, her life yeah, on yeah. a daily. Every time is a risk. Every time I put these fucking heels on, it's a risk because I know my ankles are weak. <laughs> and I they can- pushed a lady into the street is crazy. Oh, I would sue her. For facts. <laughs> You can't, a push fucking me, ankles. you can't push me in the street and then claim I've got weak ankles. I'm That's, sorry. That doesn't that doesn't add up to me. <laughs> I've got weak ankles and they gave out. <laughs> wow. That's pathetic. Oh, understatement. <laughs> oh God. I've laughed, man. <sighs> my, cool. entire, nah, my entire family roasted me about my teeth and she joined in. <laughs> That's so peak. Yeah, that That's is peak. so peak. <laughs> that is peak. What kind of family is that, by the way? In front of the, in front of my love. Facts, bro. Whether it be first day or whatever. I know, to be fair, can't be first. Can't day. be first day. Surely not. Yeah, We're all cooking my teeth on the yeah. first date. Nah, hands. <laughs> hands. Oh God. I chest bumped her dad, and our cocks hit each other the wrong way. We were both on the floor gasping. Yeah, very much so. I was standing in the way of a mutual friend. And he picked me up and moved me to the side. This whole is is scaring me <laughs> because, like, I can't find out that my girls dated men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't find out my girls dated men. Yeah. He picked me up and moved me to the side. I will, I, I will try and pick him up or something. Or, yeah, you'd have to try and one up the whole situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll to. put him in a, like a triangle or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do, I'd be livid. Cause I know it's effortless. For him, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. just stop. stop. And then so when girls get picked up, they're always like, yeah, oh, again, yeah. again. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, that was so oh, easy yeah, yeah, for you're you. You're so strong. And they just look at your partner like. And they're like, why aren't you strong like that? Uh, what's your gym routine? He's been trying to go gym for time. He's been going gym for time. How did you, what did you learn? Don't get tips from the ops. Yeah. Don't you dare get tips from the ops. And he hits you with that. Uh, what did Donnie say in the comments? It's just laziness. It's just laziness. <laughs> I'm just, I just think it's laziness. And he's like, mm -hmm, I know that's right. Yeah, she's like, bro, story of my life. <sighs> I need a man in my life who's not lazy. I charged. Yeah, yeah, charged, of course, charged, of course, of course. In that moment, yeah, obviously. I wouldn't stick around to hear any of that. <laughs> charge. <Yeah. laughs> charge, I've changed the locks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last one. I nearly passed out in Miller and Carr because I secretly had a butt plug in for later on antics. Yum. She put the effort in. She, <sighs> she put the effort in. She really did. Yeah, man. There can't be much. There can't be, I, I don't think there's fewer pleasures there could be in life than discovering a butt plug that's been there from early. Yeah, notes to you. Yeah, you've you've been out, yeah. dinner, drinks, everything. Mm. She's dressed up, mm. cool, back to the room. She ain't left your sight. Yeah. Drawers are off and you're seeing a, a butt, butt plug. plug. I was saying, I'll scream, Jesus yeah, I'd Christ. scream. I'd scream of Nazareth. <laughs> I'll say the whole four bars. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> I said a whole four <laughs> bars, bro. <laughs> of Nazareth. <laughs> oh my God. Bro. Cause you're a trooper. Uh, yeah, you're, you're a trooper. Yeah. You really play the sport. <laughs> you really play the sport. And it was- Ballon d'Or. Fam, it was effortless. <laughs> wow. Oh. That's the golden boot. Fuck me, man. Oh yeah. God. You know you're banging that you're night. Banging that <laughs> night. God have mercy. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I'll be so angry because I'll be so excited. <laughs> yeah.
and I know the nut won't be, yeah, it yeah, wouldn't yeah. be. It's built up too yeah, much. I can't, yeah. I can't meet this level of ah, anticipation. It'll be too, I'll be <laughs> nutting so, cause I know she wants anal from the <laughs> jump. She don't want this toy thing in her anymore. She wants that slip yeah, and slide. Suck it out. That's what she's thinking. Oh. Take them teeth and suck it out. She wants that slip and slide <laughs> and then you just, you know, the pH, but all that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 just, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, I would lose oh, it. Yeah, same, same. I would lose it. <laughs> same. She's a trooper. <laughs> she's a trooper. She's a real life trooper, bro. Bro, there isn't a male equivalent. <sighs> and it needs to be. What could it possibly be, though? I can't imagine. <sighs> Damn. That was jokes. Oh, was funny. Okay, guys, let's take a little break and we are going to discuss mm. our friends over at Lelo. Come on. If you didn't know, for the past 20 years, Lelo have been the market leader in luxury sex toys. And that's facts. And that's literally facts, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, what you got? What bro? You, what are you playing with? I'm addicted. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I've got the Soraya beads. I've got the Soraya beads here. Brother, mm. I'm not gonna lie to you. The texture is braised. Yeah. The texture is brazy. I can't stop stroking this drawing. I can Pause. see that, bro. I can um, see that. Bro, bro, it's not just anal beads. This is a yeah. massager as well. Okay. So if you add the um, Lelo personal moisturizer, you know, that That's water-based formula. That slip and slide. That slip and slide. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the combo. That is a great combination that's, still. That's, 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 a, that's what I call it, evening. <laughs> A fantastic That's evening. what I call it. Evening. Yeah, they're not messing about. Lelo aren't, aren't messing about at all, man. Broski, mm. quick fire. Mm. Are you looking to push the boundaries of your sexual experiences, bro? I think so, bro. I think so. You've always spoken about, you know, up in the kink game. And I feel like, I feel like Lelo provide the tools to make that happen. Do you have an innate desire for pleasurable exploration, my guy? Bro, who doesn't? Fa facts. Who First of all. A broke character, facts. Who doesn't? Facts. Who <laughs> <laughs> doesn't? A broke bro. character, because that's facts. Wow. Right, bro. Mm. So yeah, if you're if you're looking to push the boundaries, yeah. if you're looking to experience new heights, yeah. I think, I'm, I'm sorry? This <laughs> yeah. is, you're literally toying with that, it. <laughs> you're literally toying bro, with it. Bro, it's my jam right Let now. Let me feel it. Pause. Let me yeah, feel yeah, it. yeah, feel it, daddy. Come on. Yeah, so yeah Wife Wakes is getting on with that, guys. If you feel comfortable mm. in your own skin, if you're open minded, if your if your sexual desires are are kicking in, yeah, bro, Lel is the company for you. They okay? are, man. They are. Sorry. So, guys, what you need to do right now is head on over to lelo.com. Yes, sir. Once you're there, use the code SNG10. That's Sierra November Golf One Zero. That's gonna get you ten percent off okay Facts. on top of that guys you're going to receive luxurious makeup gifts mm. ideal for friends and family facts and the holiday season Facts. let's get back to the episode let's Hoo welcome back guys indeed <clears throat> welcome back to the show known as Ooh. shits and gigs <clears throat> second best podcast in the world second best podcast on planet earth Facts. um and we've had we've had a time man we have indeed we've man. had a time bro as you can see we we, we just cut, returned from traveling around the us of a we did um we did some cool collabs met some cool people and um now Nothing we're no back problems. on yeah, on man. home soil man yeah man with some education mm. yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. your boys learning to be better Mm. Mm, you learning so, to be better, so, so, learning so, so. to to be uh, more in service of people. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Met some some incredible people over there, and it made me feel like a real piece of shit. So <laughs> from now on, guys, your boy is moving in service. If you ever meet me and you need something, mm. I'm gonna take care of it. Say less. Within reason. Disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> within Asterix. reason, because I already know yeah. that a brother will roll up and say, "I need to nut." I know, I know that's what's gonna I happen. I need to nut or I need money. Yeah. Help me, my funds are low and I've got fucking bills and to pay. The, yeah, then it's long. Yeah, that's but, between you and Jehovah. Yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. Most reasonable things, mm. I got you, mm. I got you. Say less. Um, but anyway, guys, obviously you know what to do. Pause the episode right now, head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. Once you're there, we need you to contribute Three pound a month. 10 P a day. Run the P, two S and G, and you can actually be part of the family. That's it. That literally is it. You're a top boy now. Going or forward. Or a top girl. Going forward. You're top, top, top. 
and that brings like an extra certain just level of smugness. It does. It also adds like a bit of, it gives you a bit more inches. You know, you feel, you feel like you're on cloud nine 24 seven when you pay that three pound a month, 10 pound. Facts, bro. You just do. Three pound a month means three inches upstairs and downstairs. Come on. That works for both genders. Bro, facts. Come on. Bro, that's what we're doing over here. When you're a facts. top boy, that's just what happens. Facts. I don't know the science behind it, but that's just what happens. Yes, facts, bro. We don't argue with facts. Yeah, everything you give to us, we give back. Preach. So anyway, patreon.com forward slash gigs, head on over there now. And then you've got like, whilst all that inches stuff is happening, yeah. you've also got four years of content to, to watch. Just binge, and to bro. listen just and to binge, binge and to enjoy and facts. to digest. Facts. So <clears throat> no brainer, mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for starters. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel. You must. You you literally must. You must. Um, and if you are listening on, on anywhere where you listen to podcasts, mm. please leave us a nice review. Mm. Please leave us a nice review. I want five stars. Yeah, Fiat wants five stars. I'm I would really like five stars. And um, if you could do that, we'll be internally grateful. It's now time. We've had collabs. Mm. We've had Rem not being here. Mm. He's here now. He's here. There's no guessing. No guess. We're back to the OG squad, which means oh. one thing. Top five. Let's go. It's been a big hiatus, but we're back. Um, Ellis the Menace, please remind us of the scores, my dog. So the score is 14, eight, three. 14 James. to Jimmy. Eight to Rem, three to Ellis. Um, yeah, Ellis, we need to help you out, man. Yes. We do need to help you out, but I do. don't know if that's going to be this week, but we oh. shall see. Because I feel like this one, this one could be anyone's bag. Okay. It really could be anyone's bag. Okay. Top five of this week is, mm. I want you guys to tell me the top five most searched categories of Pornhub nice. in 2022. I couldn't do 2023, obviously okay. the okay. year's not over. This could be, that's like, it could be anyone's bag. Yeah, it could be actually. It could be anyone's bag. <clears throat> Top five search categories. <laughs> this is gonna bait some people. <laughs> obviously, as we always do top five, we don't, I don't necessarily ask you for specific orders and sometimes, yeah, yeah. but if you can give me an order as well, if you get in order, mm. I'll also give you a bonus point. Ain't no one getting an order. If you get it in order, you not only need to give them a bonus point, but they need to get a life. Um, yeah, they need to get help. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, you three are the ones answering, so you're, yeah. you're saying I that to yourself. I almost don't want to get this in order because that's- yeah, I kind of don't want to get it right. Uh, yeah. It makes me look fucking weird. Son, you, I want to win. <laughs> I want to win. I don't, don't want to get a chat. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like loser talk. <laughs> not like this. I don't want to win like this. <laughs> I don't want to win like this. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jokes. Oh, God. I promise you this has no bearing on what I search. You don't need to prove anything don't, to me. Yeah, you don't need to explain anything to us, bro. If it is what you search, it is what you search. This Bear. is on you. Obviously, guys at home listening and watching, let us know what your thoughts, your answers are in the comments below. What does Randy search in, in South Park? Randy, when he, oh my God, <laughs> when he does like- It's in Brazilian fart porn. Yeah, it's Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> He goes off on one and yeah. all, bro. Brazilian fart. Why Brazilian? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck knows, bro. Fart porn. That's crazy. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a kind of like a boring porn watcher. I'm not a categories kind of guy. I see what I usually see what the mm. homepage is telling me. Fair. And then sometimes, um, yeah. I've never searched through categories in my life. No. In your life? Maybe I've once. never gone through categories. I mean, I have. I'm not even gonna- You've never like, searched categories? Category. Come on, bro. No, dude. I've never gone through ca ca categories. Nah, <laughs> I'm specific taste. I know what I want. That's what the search bar's for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not scrolling through categories. <laughs> um, okay, I know what I want, I know what I like. Yeah, but if you know what you want, you can find that in a category now, so you search the yeah. category. You see what I'm saying? Well, the search bar's right there. It saves you the time. They don't have categories for what I like. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Oh. I'm joking. Mm. Okay. Is he? Okay. Cool, so I've gone for MILF. Is this an order or are you just giving me a five? Um, it could be an order, yeah. So is MILF one or is MILF five? MILF is one. Hmm, conf. We like oh, MILF right. is one. Um, uh, amateur. Damn, amateur. That's a shout. That, that, is, a shout. that, that is a shout. That is a shout. Yeah. Uh, I've never watched Amateur. 
I have. I have. Same. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as I say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I bought Latina. Nice. My dog. <laughs> say less, Ellis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm li- I'm locked in, bro. <laughs> Tell me your categories, fam. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, lesbian. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one as well. Mm. Yeah. And then anal. Okay. Yeah. Rem. Um, brother. Um, <laughs> again, question. Is this a one to five or is this a five? I might as well just attempt the one to five. Okay. The first one you give me is it five or one? Uh, it's going to be same as Ellis. So one, one to five. Yeah. One give to me five. one to five. Say less. Yeah. Talk, talk to me. Um, number one, mm. BDSM. Mm-hmm. Number two, lesbian. Number three, masturbate. Masturbate? Well, like solo. Solo girl, yeah. That's damn. Number four, um, anal. And then five, POV. Mm. POV. I did think of that. Damn, you man have got good categories. Mm. I can tell you man stay in the categories. Jimmy? (laughs) I've gone for- Is this again, same question, one to five? Yeah, it's just whatever. I'm never gonna get the order. Okay. Um, I've gone for MILF. That's a good one, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm. I've gone stepmom. Fuck. Say less. Yeah, (laughs) then I went interracial. IR, yeah. (laughs) I'm not writing interracial, bro. (laughs) It's IR, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It is IR. You stay on board. I'm not right. You <laughs> stay on board. I'm not right. <laughs> interracial. The man said IR. IR. You facts. said it so quick. IR, facts. I'm not typing interracial or writing interracial rather. <laughs> IR. <laughs> Next. Uh, and then I went hentai. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. And then finished on anal with the boys. Number five. None of you wrote down. Hazard a guess what you think is. None of you wrote this down. Um, Just a guess. Flipping. What's missing? Three. Blacked. Two. Granny. One. Oh no. Transgender. Fair play. It did cross my mind. It crossed my mind. Trash. Trash. Transgender. That's up, up. Number five, bro. Fair play. Number four. None of you wrote. For sake. Guess anyone or just go for it. Just go for it. Threesome. It's classic. That's classic. Mm. Number three. None of you wrote. Mature. Mm, Okay. Mature. 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 Yeah. I've delved. What's that Mm. like? I've delved. That's 40 or something. Yep. That's exactly what it is, my (laughs) guy. It's the matures. Yeah. Yeah, That's (laughs) exactly what it is, my guy. (laughs) Number two. Milf. Okay. Fuck's sake, I'm out already. Number two, MILF. This might be Ellis's dub. Number one. Mm, oh, Rem's gonna claw back in. Number one, two of you wrote this. Ellis has got the dub. Yeah. Two I, of you wrote this. I didn't write it, they wrote it, and Ellis has got the dub. Number one is lesbian. Lesbian. Oh. Mad. Yeah, Ellis. I don't feel corner. great about that one. We found <laughs> yes. it. We found Whoa. his niche. We found his niche, guys. <laughs> Gaming and porn. Yeah, let's, let's go. Boy, go. You know. Come what's, on. What is that? That's four now, Ellis. That's four. Let's go. Yay, well played. I'm not proud of that one. <laughs> I'm the master of, of the porn Take hub. Up, I'm not proud of that one. Ellis, the menace. Ellis, the menace. Now means something else. Yeah, man. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> well played. Well played. Well played. That was interesting. Guys, let's take. Another brief recess. Mm-hmm. Recess. Mm-hmm. Recess is about playtime, but sometimes it's about education. Mm. And our friends over at Manscaped have been working night and day to bring you a below the waist grooming experience like none other Facts. with their <clears throat> brand new performance package 5.0 ultra tra tra Damn, five well, we're on 5.0 we're on 5.0 now, 5.0 we now on bro 2. yeah yeah Damn, we're, we're let's bro go. yeah we started on the 2.0 Ooh. we're on the 5.0 let's go. you know your boys stay with manscape come on we stay true come on featuring the Lormo 5.0 let's go we're talking about the next generation trimmer with interchangeable blade heads guys come on man. for whatever shave your mind can imagine upgrade your grooming game to the ultra sphere 
this year by going to manscaped.com. And if you fancy saving some shillings, Christmas around the corner, you think, gosh, I really, really want that 5.0 experience, mm. but I don't want to pay full price. Mm. We've Tell got em. you covered. Tell them. 20% off. Tell them. Free shipping. Tell them. Code. Tell them. SNG. Tell them. Sierra November Golf. High tech. Facts. For low places. Facts. Manscaped.com. Let's get back to the episode. <laughs> right, guys. So it's been a few weeks, but we're going to get back into the story of Dr. <sighs> McAllister. Yes. Where do we leave? This is your third part right this now. This is part three. I can't remember what happened in part two. I remember the general. Oh, was it when the wife came with the brethrens and stuff? So where we left it. So, guys, if you don't know about the Dr. McAllister story. Um, watch quick, the other episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously <laughs> go back and watch it. Yeah. But. Um, quick synopsis, a dude has gone to a therapist mm. whilst under hypnosis. Um, this dude has told the therapist about their past, about their future. And the therapist now, the therapist being Dr. McAllister now deems their patient as some sort of God. So Dr. McAllister has now stolen the kidnapped them, yep. put them in his basement, kept him there and keeps stabbing him up with hallucinogens Some. Some. to knock yeah. him out so he can do <clears throat> more prolific stuff. Crazy. So now where we left off, Dr. McAllister has now introduced his wife um, and they've been calling him the God of knowledge. Dr. McAllister's wife is down there asking for stuff. His colleagues and friends are now mm -hmm. in the basement. And then where we left it, no matter how many of them I begged to release me, the outcome was always the same. <sighs> Over time, a religion of sorts began to form. Over time, McAllister drew in his cult. Right, part three, here we go. <clears throat> it was only a few at first, five or 10, but it began to grow into a sizable flock. That's crazy. Isn't it though? The followers began to take care of me, washing and feeding and seeing to my every whim. While still chained to a chair. Yeah, facts. Um, <clears throat> seeing to my every whim, except the most important. I would ask them to release me, beg them to let me go. But it was always interpreted as a test of some sort. Their God was testing them to see if they were loyal um, to the here or to the hereafter. Facts. They're crazy. They're crazy. They're, bro. Cra They're crazy. Their minds. Bro, I'm them. screaming, let me go. <laughs> yeah. And you them and I'm thinking it's, it's a, a test. test. He's a testing us. Don't let him go. Oh my god. They let would me, thank let me go. Graham, they would thank me for helping them fortify their belief in me as they slid my hands back into the restraints or pushed my head back into the buckles. I yelled at them, called them idiots, and tried to push them. But the constant use of uh, <clears throat> sedatives and the lack of exercise had made me weak. I wasn't wasting away, but I wasn't getting the exercise I needed to be certain. I could do little to free myself. Mm -hmm. My bonds always replaced. And after a while, I just gave in. The funny thing was that whatever I was telling them while I was under was working. McAllister showed me the money he had made. What? McAllister showed me the money he had made. One, earned from stock and selling property, and the cult thrived. What's more, they all claimed to have cast off whatever addiction or mental health problems or childhood trauma had plagued them and were addicted now to nothing but serving me. Like McAllister had said, those who tried to leave or return to their lives reported feeling hopeless and manic unless they could return to my presence and hear my words, whatever they were. That was when things, to, that was when things began to get bad. McAllister was truly addicted to my influence and it led him to overstep. McAllister had been gathering his followers at his home and while it was large, it was becoming too small to hold all of them. I can't really speculate on how many were there but the basement was, sta uh, was standing room only. I sat beneath a small bar uh, that he was standing on and the sea of bodies was dizzying. <laughs> Though he was speaking, they all looked at me as if they were speaking through him. 
So many eyes looking at me, my body still held in the chair I had sat in for God knew how long. Was something I'd never, <clears throat> for God knew how long was something I never got used to. It never made me feel like a deity. It never made me feel powerful to have them worship me. I always felt like a pet. It's freedom just one open door away. McAllister said they would be moving to a new place soon, a place that would house them all comfortably. They could all stay there indefinitely, leaving their jobs and lives behind so they could care for the captive God. He didn't say where it was, but he said they would all go this afternoon and to prepare for a long journey. Oh my goodness. Fam, the afternoon <clears throat> would scare me. Oh my what do you mean today? We're going right now. Yeah, 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 right now. Going right now. Right now. Oh my God. <clears throat> they were all so happy. Their faces um, enraptured, their faces enraptured as he told them of their new home. But I began to feel that this would never end. When he began to bring people to see me, I had hoped that someone would fail to see me as he did and get me out of here. They would take me away from him. They would call the police and I would be saved from my captivity. That never happened. <laughs> Whatever power I had held them in sway and after a while I doubted that I would ever get out of here. I didn't know how long I had been McAllister's captive god, but I knew that no matter how comfortable the life, this had to end. I decided then that if they weren't going to get me out, I would have to do it myself. Strangely, my chance came that very day. They had all left. <clears throat> they had all left me so they could prepare. And as I sat in the shadowy basement, I realized that my wrist strap was undone. This had never happened before. And for a moment, I wasn't sure what to do. It took all the energy I had to focus enough to get that hand to undo the other strap. And when I bent down to undo my legs, the effort seemed to take years. Damn. My mind was, my mind was like unraveled yarn. It was hard to focus on any particular task. When the bonds came off my legs, I got shakily to my feet uh, before bending to rub some life into them. They were prickly from lack of use and I took shaky steps as I made for the stairs. I got to the top before I was discovered. I peeked through the door and into the barren kitchen beyond. The cupboards were empty. Um, <clears throat> the cupboards were empty, the countertops clean, and I could tell that this room had already been cleaned out for the move. I had just decided to take a step out and make for the back door when someone walked into the kitchen and saw me. Nah. <laughs> Fam? Ah. Fam? Ah. They called for McAllister. <laughs> they called for McAllister. I dropped Walking my knees. To <laughs> Walking to me as they insisted I return to my chair. I pushed at them, telling them to get out of my way. But as I lunged for the back door, I heard others coming in to stop me. Oh my God. I made it to the backyard, squinting as the sun hit my eyes, oh my God. but found it fenced with tall wooden boards. I was grabbed by many hands and when someone slipped a needle into my neck, I looked back to see McAllister instructing them to get me to the car. This is, this is some scary movie type shit, boy. Bro, this is terrifying. What? I came to some time later and I was lay laying um, in an elaborate bed, my hands cuffed to the frame. That began the worst part of my confinement though it was thankfully the end of it. After that, the drugging became worse. McAllister and his inner circle kept me in a near constant catatonic state. The drugs he used were no longer just injected and they began to experiment with other substances. The documents that were found later said they received different outcomes when different kinds of drugs were used and they often sat around and drank or laughed as I came in and out of reality. I was aware of nothing in those times, a ship drifting on a sea of time. I could have been with them for days. I could have spent decades under their control, but to me, time was only islands glimpsed from afar. I, that's wordage. wordage, that's pen game. Yeah. I didn't see many people in that time, just the five or so who were, who were in McAllister's inner circle but these men always spoke as if they were doing very well. Often there was cigar smoke around my bed, the smell of expensive liquor, 
and always the low murmur of talk as they waited for me to tell them what else they might do to gain more power. I had become their oracle, their captive god as opposed to a revered deity, and they threatened to use me up. Oh God. These are the times I remembered the least about, except for the end. I spent a lot of my days in a black stupor, and the more they experimented, the more often I was back in the black place. When I came back from these trances, I noticed the change in my captor. Gone were the shining eyes of the enraptured, disappeared were the weeping orbs of enlightenment. They were replaced by the flinty eyes of the zealot, and I was afraid that he might break his promise. <clears throat> he looked angry, but also resolved. Whatever I had told him weighed heavily on him, but I wouldn't understand the burden for a while yet. Not till the day it all came to an end. Okay, let's stop there. Let's stop there because we're about to, I think we're about to get into the crux of it. Oh yeah, it sounds like it. It sounds like we're, yeah, we're going to get into the crux of it. His pen game is different. Yeah, yeah. His pen, what are you talking about? Eyes of the Zealot and, bro. Your pen game is different, my dog. Bro. Maybe you're a deity. Jesus. Facts. Maybe you are. Little captured God. (laughs) Right. So we're going to finish on not to the day it all came to an end. We've, next week, we're going to finish it. Yeah. 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 There's one more left. Next week, we're going to finish it. Gang. Damn. Interesting. Super interesting. interesting. Wow. Okay. Right. You've got a dilemma for us. I do. This girl says, been dating the guy for the past three months. We had the best time and were on the cusp of getting back into a relationship. About five weeks ago, his mum had a serious heart attack and has been really ill. During the time she's been ill, he's been amazing. Communication has been great and he's seen me, uh, sorry, communication has been great and has seen me when, he's, uh, when he can between work, traveling home and looking after his dad. Last week, uh, we were meant to see each other when he texts me saying, she's only been given 72 hours to live. Hmm? He asked me to bear with him for the few days and that he really needed to be with his family. And I had been very, and I have had very sporadic messages since. I've told him I'm here for him and I miss him and I respect his time and I respect the time that he needs. Um, I've not heard from him for around a week, so I'm assuming the worst. And I don't know what I'm, and I don't know when I'm next gonna hear from him. I feel guilty going on with my normal life, but don't know how long I should give him slash wait for him slash how often I should message him. What would you do in this situation? We care about each other a lot, but I also get that I've all, I've only been in his life for three months. Run it back again, bro. So long story short, dating a brother, things are going well. He finds out his mom is, she had a serious heart attack and she's fallen ill. He says, bear with me. I just need some time while I'm dealing with work, trying to look after my pops and obviously trying to look after my mum at the same time. Mm -hmm. She's understanding of this, um, but as time is going on, the messages are getting less Less and less less less. frequent and it's becoming just very sporadic. Um, He now messages her saying, oh, my mum has only been given 72 hours to live, basically three days to live. Um, And he's saying, bear with, it's gonna take some time, just bear with me. So she's asking, um, how? Because she says she's feeling guilty about moving on with her normal life. Yeah, considering yeah, yeah, they've yeah, been yeah. dating for three months or seeing each other for three months. And she's asking, how long should I give him? How long should I wait for him? Or how often should I message him? And what would we do in this situation? Bearing in mind, you've only known this person for three months. But within three months, you know. Three months is a fair amount of time. a fair amount of time to get close with someone. Yeah. Um, and to be affiliated with like family trauma in that aspect, you can, I can kind of see what they're saying. That is a really tough one because it puts, it fucks up the whole thing Mm -hmm. because it's like three months is not enough time to even know if we're gonna go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it adds extra, so much extra pressure on, similar to like Mm. when, you know when like COVID happened, right? Yes. And everyone was in lockdown. Yes. And then you had all these couples that weren't ready to move in with each other, basically just move in with each other. Yes. And it's like, it's fucked up the whole thing. Yeah. Because we could have been something special, yeah. but now I see you every day when I'm not ready for it, mm. and I hate you. Mm-hmm. Um, and now mm. after COVID, what do we just stop living together? Yeah. 
And it's like, you're with this person and in a short amount of time, they're going through all this trauma. And it's like, there's a certain expectation now where you've just lost your mum. Mm -hmm. You're looking after your dad. You're busy with work. You've had me on pause. And because you've had me on pause for all this time, you now, even though I'm not asking for it, you now like, there's an unwritten rule where you now owe me so much. Yeah, We can't just pick up where we left off because yeah. you know I've, put, I've just bit, been putting my shit on pause for you. Mm. So now you need to reward me mm. in an essence for putting you on pause. Mm. And now we've escalated this, this ratio way shit. further. Yeah. Plus you're going through shit. So yeah. I need to be extra, extra, extra nice to you because yeah. you've just lost your mum. When really it's like, I can't even just have the normal Chit chat, chit -chat whatever, or like if I'm pissed off at you or, or not really fancying it today, yeah. da, da, da. I've got to build, deal with this whole thing that you've just lost your mom. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm now your support system in a, in a way and all this kind of shit. It's just like way too much pressure. Yeah. Can I even go on other dates with people? Mm. Because it's like, yeah, I don't really know you like that. Yeah, it's, um, um, it's an impossible situation. As you're, as you were talking, I was thinking if I was in his or her shoes, no, more so if I was in her shoes rather, I would still try my best. Okay, here's how I'll do it. Yes, so you're the man, right? Mm. I would say to you, I know you're going through all this hardship. I understand the situation you're in and I'm here for you totally. You can take as long as you need to, not necessarily get over the situation, but deal with the situation. But I just want you to personally know that I don't know how long this is going to be for. So I'm still gonna be your support system, but I also want you to know that if you start to see maybe changes in, in our quote unquote relationship, just know that it has nothing to do with you, but just the fact that I know you need time to deal with this. So I can't, I'm not necessarily pausing my life or my like quote unquote marital life because of the situation you're in, but within the same breath, We've known each other for X amount of time. I still care for you. I'm going to be there for you. Yeah. Because there's no, there is no win-win, but there's also no like, there's ne it's never going to be a fair trade-off. And I feel like me saying that I'm going to be there for you, because I will be there for, the, for, for you, but I just also won't be able to put my life on pause for you. Yeah, a hundred percent. And like, I think the main crux of it is that in my opinion, it only works in the best case scenario is if he's given her an out. Mm -hmm. So if it's, mm -hmm. if it's me, I would immediately, if I'm going through this stuff, I'm not asking her, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Let me get through this. Let me, I'll be like, bro, you don't owe me anything. Mm. It's only been a few months. If you want to just move on, I can't ask you to wait for me. And it's actually yeah. not fair for me to ask yeah. you to wait. If you want to crack on, crack on mm -hmm. and then it gives her the opportunity to be like no 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 no, it's calm mm -hmm. like i want to be here and then you're like all right bet then then wait and then we can pick it up on a normal thing mm. i'm not putting any pressure on you and then also you don't have to be overly 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 like oh my god he's lost his mother mm. because i've given you the opportunity to dip yeah but also if i'm dating someone for three months and they still give me the opportunity to dip i'm probably not going to say no anyway you're not going to take the opportunity to dip I just, I think it's heartless, bro. It's because like my moral compass will come in before my own selfish needs in that essence, if you see what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is like, you don't have to frame it as in like, we need to stop seeing each other. Mm. You can frame it as in like, I'm going to be getting on with this. Mm -hmm. I'm obviously, you know, I'm going to be busy. So I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, don't wait around for me. Mm. Like you don't have to like, I'm not saying like we're done no, or no, no. I'm not giving you the opportunity to say I'm done. I'm saying like, you just, get on with you and you speak to me when you want to speak to me. And like, after this, you'll see me when you want to see me. Not necessarily like, this is your opportunity to block my number. Yeah. Cause obviously that is heartless. Cause then if someone is then like, okay, thanks. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm done with this. Mm. It's just a very much like, I'm just very aware we've only known each other for three months. I'm not trying to put any pressure on you whatsoever. I'm not asking you to wait around. So just so you know, if after all this is said and done, if you told me I went on a date last night or I did this or like, I'm just like, I'm going away for a few days. Yeah. I didn't tell you about it. I'm not going to be angry. I'm not, I have no, like no pressure. Yeah. No pressure. Everything's, in, the ball's entirely in your court. Yeah. I think I get that completely. And I was replying in like, if I was the female, but I also if I'm the guy and I've said all of this and then like, 
two months after my mum's passed away, he told me, I'm going away, I've got a couple of dates. Not in obviously that loosely, I'd fall to my knees. Yeah, but that's too, if, if, it's, if, you've, if it's two months yeah. after the mum's passed, that's a piss date. <laughs> she should be going on dates. Yeah. Two <laughs> months. I know, don't get me wrong, I know she should, but I'm just saying, I've lost my mum and I've lost my potential girl. I'm falling to my knees because it's a lose lose. You see what I'm saying? I'm still emotionally hurt. Like losing your mum or losing anyone, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah, can yeah. hurt me today, it can hurt me next year. It doesn't matter. But I get, don't get me wrong, I get where you're coming from. I feel like it's a very tough situation to be in. You, very difficult dilemma. It's, she's in a position where she slightly has no choice but to be a prick. To an extent. Unless, yeah, to an extent. Like, unless she is going to go all in with this whole support yeah, system thing, yeah. she has no choice but to be a prick because that's the position he's put her in. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't really, yeah, unintentionally. Yeah. I don't really know. It's in, the, in my opinion, yeah, I have no advice. It's an Damn. impossible situation. Damn. Do what your gut tells you, man. Do what your gut tells you and just try and be, try and articulate yourself as best as you can, knowing how, um, how much your quote unquote partner is hurting at the moment. So yeah. Also, it also on top of that as well, don't assume you know what he's, going through in terms of feel like in terms of like so we're talking under the basis of like you said like i've lost my mom and i've lost my girl like this mm. is the worst situation of my life mm. whereas like some people me for example if my mom's going through that i'm not thinking about mm. um this relationship mm-hmm, stuff mm-hmm, i'm laser focused mm-hmm. on this yeah so if she's messaging me talking about like yeah it's not really for me or mm. i'd be like i don't care like yeah, that's, that's fine that yeah, yeah i'm not even thinking about this right now yeah. like go do your thing We'll, we'll, we'll pick it up another time or we, yeah. or we won't. Yeah. Um, so yeah, don't assume that like you'll, you'd be the villain if you say how you feel. Mm. Cause he might just be like, yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm dealing with stuff. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I guess, I guess that's, that's your um, advice. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Anyway, let's anyway, do some funny stuff. Let's do We've got the thread. Stuff. Yeah. We do have a thread. I got set this thread bare. You and me both G. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. And I found, I f- don't get me wrong. I found it hilarious. Um, so the thread we are going to do for you guys today is um, Married Men Riz. Married Men Riz. Let's go. They were sending for Yoruba men in here. Oh, facts, bro. Yeah. Facts. Of course they were. <laughs> of course they were. <clears throat> All right. Calm, 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 calm. <laughs> this is a Jamaican brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, believe me when we say me love you bad. <laughs> the girl replied, don't you have a wife? He replied, yeah, for now. Damn. For now. All right. Well, at least he's talking about leaving. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) My girl said, that's your wife. But you told me she's your friend. (laughs) Said, I have a friend in her. (laughs) Wow. That's nuts. Her her name's Sumi. Sumi, please may I ask if you're married? Oh, his name is Sumi, sorry. Please may I ask if you're married? No, I'm not. We should move to solidify our friendship. <laughs> I thought you were married. Uh, hello, and she replied, LOL, no problem. He replied, 100, how was your weekend? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were married, 100. <laughs> How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Moving, Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Let's not play these we're games. We're not dwelling on this. Damn. He messaged her, my runaway bride. <laughs> Smiley face, smiley face. She replied, what of the one you have at home? That's my stay at home bride. Oh. <laughs> wow, you're my little runaway bride. That's my runaway stay at home bride. bride. It's my birthday soon. She replied, and? <laughs> um, it would be nice to see you around. I know you wouldn't come to Manchester for me if I, was, if I was to ask. So if I make the trip down to your ends, do you think that's wise? I don't see why not with a with yeah, a little emoji. shrug thing. Did you leave your wife? Because you're speaking like a single person. <laughs> How should a married person be speaking? <laughs> <laughs> Reply, <laughs> not this way. <laughs> he said, okay, I roll. And replied to a story, where are we going? <laughs> Oh my god. These guys are bastards. <laughs> oh my days. Oh, How should a married so man be speaking? <laughs> There's jokes. Bro, certain daddies don't give up. There's jokes. They don't give up, bro. Oh, they see thighs god. and that's it. That's it. 
<sighs> right. So she messaged him. Mm. I'm asking again. Are you married? My man replied, it depends on you. Me? As how? <laughs> Do you want me married or single? <laughs> she replied, lol. <laughs> she replied, lol. 45 minutes later, <laughs> hey, sweetie, doo doo. <laughs> sweetie, doo doo. What the hell, bro? Oh, oh. God. All right, so she wrote, Who's that woman and kids you posted on your status? <laughs> he said, Oh, that one. She's my wife, but we're just friends. Don't worry. <laughs> His name is Wanji. So she wrote, Wanji, how about your kids? Are they just your friends too? Depends on how you look at it. <laughs> These men are savages, oh. bro. She said, are you married? Man replied, why do you ask? She said, yes or no. That's a bit too personal for me to answer. <laughs> also, I'd like to focus on us and not the outside noise. <laughs> when I'm talking to you, focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Focus. We try about yes or no. Outside focus noise. on us. <laughs> Jokes. Outside noise. Oh my days. You never told me you were married. Why would you need that piece of information? <laughs> Bro. Oh God. <laughs> this was sweet me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the title of, this, of, the, of the tweet is Europe and men are unmatched. Yeah. So she texts him, are you married? Man said, now you're looking for a means to run away. <laughs> Oh my god. Now days. you're looking for a means to run away. Oh, oh wow. Oh. So she's replying to a photo of, I'm assuming, a wedding invitation. So she's put, You're getting married. He's like, Nah, laugh out loud. Nah, it's not me. You're my wife, you know. She put, uh, Lol, because I saw your name and surnames. He said, Ha ha, me too. I was scared at first, but then I realized it wasn't me. <laughs> Bro, oh. these men are next <laughs> level. Bro, I'm deleting the chat. Bro, it's she's just, found my wedding bro, invitation. It's done. It's done. Oh mm. my God. I was scared too, then I realized it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't me. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Aren't you like married? Man replied, I stay with someone's daughter. She said, Your wife? Man said, Yes. <laughs> I stay with someone's daughter. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Man went the long way around. <laughs> you got a wife back in Nige? He replied, this is so random. Laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji. <laughs> said, it's an important question. And you didn't say no. He replied, it is. Now I know this stumps all the excitement of meeting up with me. You do? Is this the end? <laughs> if you have a wife, yes, sir. That's why African men lie through their teeth. <laughs> The truth doesn't set us free. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no shame. The truth doesn't <laughs> set us free. Oh, man, I just want women. <laughs> Facts. You're That's making it bad difficult, <laughs> bro. I just want women. Oh man, my said, God. This is so random. <laughs> That's so jokes. So she said, so you went and got married. Man replied, I got kidnapped into it. Oh, <laughs> damn. Hey, you're cute. This is going to be super random, but do you have a girlfriend? He replied, no. Why? Smiley face. Your girl said I should ask you and send her a screenshot. Sad face. <laughs> <laughs> Charge. 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 Ting. Wow. Aren't you like married or something? <clears throat> not really. I don't get it. What do you mean not really? Laugh my ass off. I mean, sometimes I'm married and sometimes I'm not. When I'm at home, I'm married. When I'm not at home, I'm single. <laughs> oh my God. Man. Oh, this one, he's chatting to himself. Good morning. How was your night? Next day. Why can't you pick up your calls? Next day. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Man replied to Ting's story. I think you with my wedding ring on. She aired it. <laughs> he replied to her next story, story vigorously. 
Wow. <laughs> Bro, some guys are animals. The vigorously. And vigorously know. is nuts. Man replied to something. He just said, please. She replied, you've got a wife, bro. He said, oh, Ian, my wife is not a problem. She's like a sister, I swear. We just respect each other. She replied, Jesus. <laughs> Hogan said, are you not married? Yeah. Not the point here. What's that got to do with this? Yeah. She's not even here. Does that still make you single? Yes, by location. <laughs> I'll take good care of you. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you never told me you had kids. Reply. I tried to tell you, but, and he put his hand over his face. She's like, but what? You said you don't like guys that talk too much. She replied, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> I just wish my wife can allow me to swap positions with you. Excuse me, what? Every time I look at her, I see your face. Even my kids have started to resemble you. That's insane. <sighs> That's the most disrespectful thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Facts. Even my kids have started Facts. to resemble you. Nah, he's daydreaming. Bro. He's daydreaming. Imagine being the wife and seeing that. She'd have to jump. I would give anything for you and my wife to. <laughs> Even my kids look like you. You'll fit right in. Damn, bro. <laughs> she'd want to kill herself. Oh, she'd, she'd have to jump. Oh my God, bro. She would have God, to jump. All right, two more. Why didn't, you tell, why didn't you tell me you were married with four kids? I'm shy. <laughs> I'm shy, you know. I'm shy. All right, last That's one. A bar. Your wife's picture is literally all over your page. You shouldn't be talking about love with me or anyone else. But my wife isn't complaining, dear. Laughing my ass off. Oh, wow. My oh, wife's not complaining. complaining. My wife's not complaining. Damn. Oh, wow. But yeah, that's the thread. Okay. Jesus, man. Married men riz thread. Married, Dogs. the fact that there's a thread called married, married men, men riz, riz, and yeah. we probably had more submissions than we've ever had on any Facts. thread. Facts, yeah. That's nuts. Hilarious. Gosh. Okay, guys. Well, that's a, that's the session for today. Yes, Thank you very, very much. Yes, um, and as always, patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. Go and see us over there. Facts. And we will be tuning in on Thursday. See you there on Thursday. Love, love, love. Bang, bang, bang. Bang.